Hey guys, this is Jeremy from Pool Bear Vector and in this video, I'd like to share with you how I navigate through Interactive Broker. But before we can go into the platform, you always have to set up an account with IBKR, interactivebroker.com and as well as download their platform. So this is the desktop version of IBKR, Interactive Broker. So when you log in and enter into the platform, this is what you see. Right. As you can see over here, there are a few panels for you to click on. There's portfolio, watch list, uh, code, uh, screener, news, feedback suggestion, support center, and settings. Right. And on the right side is just your portfolio valuation. So when I look at this platform itself, uh, I will go into my watch list and start to put in my broker. Uh, I mean my symbols, right? My symbols, you can put in any symbols you like under your favorites. You can always add a new watch list if you want to, right? And and uh, create a new watch list. Say for example, you want a new watch list called, um, here just put watch list. You can always change the name of it later, right? And you can always uh, add in uh, companies like uh, Apple uh, and so and so forth, AAPL. Right, so you can add on as many as you want in terms of the watch list into the system. I think apparently they are using something similar like TradingView, and I'll be able to. Um, if you know how to use TradingView, it's quite similar in a way uh, on using on this platform. Right, so if I add on Tesla, I have just have to wait for a while for the ticker code to load, and then uh, Tesla will be out. So again, it depends on your internet connection. If you are fast. If your internet connection is fast, you'll be able to uh, get it out very quickly and um, the system will load faster, right? So this is where I add a new watch list to add on into my in my uh, portfolio where are uh, potential companies that I want to trade on, right? And I also can go to the code and this is the place where I will find uh, all the codes uh, for my the stock that I want to enter right so i can go on to the charts option chain option analysis news and fundamentals right so say for example if i am interested to look at uh tesla or apple right uh, my quick suggestion is go to the watch list and right click on it and go to code details this is the fastest way to really find the stock you want and then to buy and sell the stock so um, there you see there are multi charts that you can do. You also can do a single chart if you want to, right? And, and you can set it up over here if you want, right? So this has already been set up. I'll be showing you in the next video on how to set up uh, in this uh, IBKR. But this uh, video is uh, for navigation. So I can see my charts here. I can see my option chain here, right? So it's loading, right? My option chain is loading. And um, if you want to buy or sell, uh, the stock itself, you can straight away look at the right side to go and buy and sell. You don't have to go through many places. So it's quite convenient, quite fast in a way, right? And you can read the Tesla news on the right panel here uh, about Tesla, the key metrics, uh, contract description, fundamental explorer. You can go and take a look at that, right? And then you can do your options here. So your options, uh, you can uh, close this and you've got 3 days, 10 days, 16 days, your monthly options, your weekly options, right? And uh, you have uh, different views, you can standard views, mirror views and all that, right? And you can even go for list views, which is this is a list view. You can also go for text view, right? So this is text view, you can move your, your date of expiry left to right, okay? So you've got your put call ratio here, you can concentrate on call and puts as well. You can look at the strike price, right? I, I usually like to use all and um, which exceed your amount, which doesn't uh, doesn't matter. It's okay. And <coughs> I use smart because you will just take on any any exchange and uh, the ticker code is Tesla, right? So for me, I prefer to use um, the list mode uh, because it's easier for me to see. So I will go to say, for example, I want to do a 23 days option. Then I'll come here and I'll wait and look right on where do I want to do my options over here. So the color coding is not that fantastic. You can see this is actually gray and this is actually black, right? So in between 160 and 165 is actually your, your price point, right? Now it's 160.42. So uh, the, this is the place where you do all your calls. This is the place where you do all your puts and then you do your option strategy over here, right? You can also use a strategy builder if you want to. Right, uh, uh, it's not as uh, straightforward as I thought it would be. You can just add uh, whichever 
uh, legs you want to put in, right? Say, if, for example, you want to do a sell leg and you want to do a buy leg, right? Then the strategy builder can help you to do a vertical. But if you don't turn on the strategy builder, you only can do one position at a time, right? So uh, this is how you use it, right? In order to do more advanced version, you need to click on strategy builder. Okay, and then you can go into the settings and you can uh, add on uh, whichever settings that you want to put in terms of options. You want to say, for example, you want to include time value percentage. You just click a plus at the left side and it will appear, right? And uh, you can look at the display, dark and light. You can look at the hotkeys. You can look at the columns that you want to see on option chain the trading, the presets, and also the messages that you can, uh, the, the system will alert you on, right? So these are the things that you can customize accordingly to the settings of the system, right? So if I want to do my sell options, then I'll be able to do it here, or I want to do my buy options, I'll do it here, right? So this is where you look at it, and you can always preview it first before you think of uh, entering and uh, they will share with you many details whether you or you can or cannot do because you have uh, insufficient funds or, or sufficient funds. I find that uh, IBKR shares with uh, me a lot more information of what I can do rather than what I can do. Uh, when I use uh, Think of Swim and I use um, Basic Trade, they don't tell me that I cannot use like that. They immediately uh, don't allow me, they just don't allow me to, to, to just uh, fill the order. Right, it's just like error. No, we can't do it. But here they will tell you your order is not immediate execute our system depending on market the condition reject blah 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 all these things. Right. So further explanation so that you don't have to ask them why you know I can't open this position. Okay. So uh, I'll, I'll say IBKR is is, is quite uh, strict in terms of all these uh, entering and exiting positions and all that. So it is good and bad at the same time. Good thing is that you get all the info upfront. Bad is that um, I find that the system uh, needs some time to load, right? Maybe my computer is slow or maybe my internet speed is slow, right? And it takes some time for me to understand how to use all the system here, right? Limit market stop and all that, right? So you can go and research more about it on the right side here to see more about how uh, Tesla is performing in terms of the options, right? In terms of the PNL, the Delta, the Gamma, the Vega and all that, right? So you can go and take a look at it. But this time round, it's just navigation. It's, I'm just going to go straight, very straightforward, you know, understanding how to use it. Uh, the option analysis is here. If you are interested to know more, right? The impact volatility, open interest, historical volatility. If you want to know more news about Tesla, it's all here. You can go and read up about it, about Tesla. And if you want to know the fundamentals of Tesla, uh, you can always go to bullbearvector.com or you can come here to take a look at those uh, key ratios, dividend, financials, and so on and so forth. So all these things, are uh, you can go and read about it, okay? So uh, this is how I navigate my platform over here. And then I'll go into my screeners. If you want to go look at screeners for US stock, Asian stocks, Euro stocks, ETFs, you can use it here to, to find your stock, right? You can use a multi-sort or you can use standard filters over here. Personally, I prefer to use my own watch list, uh, but then if you have a, a already, you know, if you already understood how to invest and trade and you know what numbers you want to key in, please go ahead and use the filters for, for your own ease. And of course, uh, news at the end of the day, uh, we want to know what is happening to the daily news, portfolio news, uh, watch list, and so on and so forth. So portfolio news is something I like uh, because uh, sometimes uh, you might have a certain number of stocks and you only want to see your stocks right in the portfolio. You don't want to see other other different companies, right? So this is something interesting that um, Tasty Trade doesn't have and also Think of Swing uh, doesn't have, right? Uh, and uh, this is what do I to my understanding, right? So if I'm wrong. Uh, please uh, correct me, okay? <laughs> Alright, so you can go and take a look at it. Uh, one important thing about using IBKR is that you need to subscribe for data, right? So if you want to subscribe for data itself, you need to click on to your own profile and there is this thing called the market data subscription. Unlike uh, Think of Swim or Tasty Trade, right? You uh, the, the subscription come along together when you open an account and you fund the account. But for IBKR, we have to pay our own subscription over here so that you are able to get live data. If you don't use this, then you are getting delayed data, which is not useful for you if you are doing uh, stocks trading or option trading, uh, especially those who are doing like scalping, swing trading, 
uh, you want the latest data to help you. So I subscribe to those data so that I'm able to get the latest data to do my trades, right? You can deposit funds, change password, uh, and, and all about your profile over here, your activity activities report, performance, risk report, and tax. I, I find it uh, very interesting, uh, but I don't really use it. <laughs> all right, so in terms of market, market data subscription itself, right, you have to click on this button so that you can enter into their portal to subscribe for data. Okay, so we wait for it to load. So this is the website that you need to take note of to actually buy and subscribe to the data. So immediately you are signed in, right? And uh, I actually bought those data like NASDAQ, uh, New York Exchange and Oprah, right? So you have to buy it so that you can get live data. So in order to subscribe to it, you have to click on the setting buttons. What is given to you free is the CME event contracts, uh, PAXOS, uh, cryptocurrency, US uh, mutual funds, and US real-time non-consolidated streaming codes, right? Uh, but in order for us to do more stocks and options, that's what I do. I need the live data. I will need to get this tree. So I go on to the configure here, the settings, and then I will see what I need to buy. Right, so you move down, there are North America, South America, Europe, Middle East, Africa, Asian Pacific, Global and Code Booster. So I will use North uh, America and I will go on to level 1 NBBO. So this is the place where I will subscribe to my data. You can see there are 4 over here, right? Uh, and I will move down to NASDAQ. So this is one of them I need to get. Uh, New York Exchange as well as OPRA for the US Option Exchange to get the live data. And also, uh, this is WAVED, which is the US uh, mutual funds. So all in all, if you subscribe like mine and, and uh, you are willing to buy the data with them for stocks and options, all together, you are expected to pay about uh, $3.50 USD right, every month as additional payment. So unlike uh, Tasty Trade or uh, Think or Swim itself, we actually uh, don't have to pay but for uh, InterFD broker, we have to pay, right? So just take note of them, uh, of that itself, $4.50 USD per month, all right? So coming back to the platform itself, uh, this is what you need to know and how you want to navigate the platform. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on the um, below, right? And then um, I glad, I'm happy to have you to watch this video. And if you have any, uh, if you like this video, if you think that this is good, you can share it with your friends and as well as, you know, uh, support us, right? So thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.